The great Democrats talk incessantly about the rule of law, but they are selective. Friends may, be, may break any law and get away scot-free. Thus, Israel can break, break all the international laws and norms of the world, and it will continue to be supported and defended. The unfriendly countries can do nothing right. There is no justice in this world. Mr. President, I must again refer to the fate of Rohingyas in Myanmar. Many colonies of the West Many colonies of the West, upon independence, expelled non-natives in their countries. But nowhere have they been as brutal as Myanmar. Even natives of the country were massacred, brutally killed, and raped in full view of the world, backgrounded by the burning houses and villages of the victims. They were forced to migrate, and now they dare not return to Myanmar even when offered. They cannot trust the Myanmar military unless some form of Myanmar non-Myanmar protection is given. The helplessness of the world in stopping atrocities inflicted on the Rohingyas in Myanmar had reduced the regard for the resolutions of the United Nations. Now, despite UN resolution on Jammu and Kashmir, the country has been invaded and occupied. There may be reasons for this action, but it is still wrong. The problem must be solved by peaceful means. India should work with Pakistan to resolve this problem. Ignoring the UN would lead to other forms of disregard for the United Nations and the rule of law. Mr. President,